Welcome to the No Beer Left Behind Locale IPA Showdown. <laughs> Insert that here. I am here drinking five different Locale IPAs, being January 2020. People are trying to keep those New Year's resolutions. I'm not, because I know myself, no dry January for me. I'm just gonna be drinking. But for those of you who are calorie conscious and are trying to run marathons and drink beer, look pretty, but don't wanna drink Michelob Ultra, I'm reviewing five low-cal IPAs that you can probably get just about anywhere. We're gonna start off from the top of the list. We're gonna go lightest to heaviest. We're gonna go Dogfish Head Slightly Mighty Low-Cal IPA. This beer comes in at 4% alcohol, 3.6 grams of carbs for those of you counting, and a svelte 95 calories. Now, uh, Slightly Mighty has been out for a while, and the example that I drank for this review has also been out for a while. Didn't realize that till I got home. You got me. I uh, think this this was canned on... This this is old, that's all I'm gonna say. A lot of old school hops, uh, so like old school American hops, kind of classic to Dogfish Head. We'll see this as we look through the rest of the IPAs. Um, if there's a, f I, I have a feeling, my mind is telling me that if you have a flagship IPA already out there, your locale version, just a diluted down version of that flagship. Uh, Cause this tastes like a diluted down, 60 minute IPA. A little bit of malt. Still didn't mind it. Next up, going from that low to high, I've got Lagunitas Daytime Ale. Uh, you might see it as that uh, bent nail can out on the shelves. Lagunitas is a national brand uh, owned by Heineken, so you know the quality is gonna be probably good and, and uh, gonna be pretty fresh wherever you pick it up, as long as you don't find it in the backwoods somewhere. In Oklahoma, on a hot shelf. Anyway. Uh, Lagunitas Daytime comes in at 98 calories, a 4% alcohol by volume, and we're looking at 3 grams of carbs. So take that for whatever you will. Um, I'm just going to be regurgitating these uh, facts off the can. Uh, to be honest with you, I picked these up at my Total Wine & More, uh, where I just literally walked down the IPA section uh, of singles, and I was looking for any can that had calories on there. Um, so figured, hey, if people are gonna be marketing to it, people are gonna be buying it, let me figure out why they should be buying what. The Lagunitas Daytime, actually really, really good. I mean, just phenomenal good. Uh, I, I, my uh, tasting note said that it was aggressively hot flavored without aggressively bitter. It's really bright too. It was, I mean, crystal clear. It's actually what I'm sipping on as I'm reviewing this, so cheers. But the hops they're using are classic, like Lagunitas IPA hops, or whatever the hell they're using to make their IPA taste like a textbook American IPA. It's in this. So if you're looking for the big flavor, low calorie beer, this one is phenomenal. Uh, and it's got a cool little blue pull tab. I don't know what in the hell. Like, it's got the little Lagunitas symbol in the pull tab. Like, that's the innovation that we're out here looking for. All right. Next up, Firestone Walker Flyjack IPA. Firestone Walker fanboy number 5597 here, checking in with you. Flyjack is the first of the beers that I'm rating today with the hazy IPA classification. At 96 calories, 4% alcohol, and five carbs is a little heavier, boy, okay? It's got some extra weight on them, it's fine with it, because that Flyjack's packing, boom, an extra gram of protein. But I will say this beer is being a hazy boy, we've got the New World Hop Techniques, you do miss a little bit of that malt body, so it tastes a little thin. However, if you're looking to drink a lot of them for a long time, this is the way to do it. Between this and Lagunitas Daytime, these two were my all-day drinkers. Like, I can sip on them all day long. All day. A fantastic beer. Matt Brindelson and the geniuses out at Firestone Walker are just making it rain beautiful beers. Uh, moving on, we go with Goose Island. They're so low. They're low-cal IPA. I, I'm, I'm looking at the can because it's one really kind of, kind of pretty. Um, it's a matte finish, I'm into matte, I like that. Uh, at 98 calories and 
uh, 3% ABV. It's nice and low. It is so low. They nailed the name. Uh, one thing of interest on here, this one is the highest carb uh, count per beer. But we'll say this, the carbs are, um, I don't know, they're either 8.4 or 9.4. I don't know, because I can't read the label. What am I gonna do here? I'm trying to watch my cows here. I'm trying to watch my carb intake. Or maybe I'm trying to carb load for the 5K. Michael Scott, looking at you. Time to carb load. This beer's good. It tastes like they're, um, the Goose Island, the standard Goose Island IPA just like diluted down. It's good. The Goose Island IPA is, is good. It is the maltiest of all the beers that I tried here today. Finally, 1E IPA from Oscar Blues. <sighs> Ah, uh, yeah, it's the heaviest of the five that I tasted here today. It had a whopping 100 calories. Carbohydrates, five grams, sitting pretty heavy. Uh, this beer, when I tasted it, it reminded me of the first time I drank like a Pacific Northwest IPA back in like 2013. It was, there was a lot of competing flavors. There was like, you know, piney, dank, resiny pops mixed with malt. I was like, ah, it's, it wasn't a pleasant experience. If I'm looking to watch my calories while drinking an IPA, I'm not turning to this. It's just not my thing. Uh, I'm sure there are diehard Oscar Blues fans out there who are like, you know what, F this guy, he doesn't know what he's talking about. Eh, maybe I don't. But it's me drinking this beer today mixed with all the other beers. This is not my favorite. You may be asking yourself, well, which one is your favorite? Very clear. Lagunitas Daytime, far and away my favorite of the ones we tried here today. Um, behind that, Fly Jack from Firestone Walker. Next, I'd probably go with Goose Island, uh, Low Cal IPA, Solo, sorry, Solo. And then Slightly Mighty, if it's still out there and available and it's not pulled out of the market already. Uh, and then Oscar Blues, Wani IPA. I don't know, man. Uh, I, I like low ABV beers, I really do. Uh, I, if I could have all the flavor of beer without the effects of alcohol, I would be in 100%. Um, so that's why when I see these things come out, I'm like, hell yeah, innovate a little bit. This is the innovation that I'm looking for. Is it something that I would drink every day? Maybe if I had available to me every day, you know? Not gonna be something that's going to replace uh, a Union Jack if, when it's available, or uh, not gonna replace Lagunitas IPA. Well, I don't know. Honestly, daytime is one that actually might replace Lagunitas IPA. <laughs> Contradicting myself in my own video. I'll save you from the comments, you know how it goes. If you're wanting to get out and maybe drink a little healthier once you've kicked dry January, and you still want the big flavors of beer, the ex experience of hops, maybe give one of these low-cal IPAs a shot. If you guys like these videos, you wanna see more of these videos, uh, comment, let me know, shoot me a message, let me know uh, what else you would like to see. And uh, until next time, for Brian here on No Beer Left Behind, cheers.